Hello everybody and welcome to MC Magic, the one-to-one -one scale recreation of Disney World here uh, in the game Minecraft. And we are at the DCL server, the Disney Cruise Line server, where uh, they have just unveiled the Disney Magic, the first of the Disney Cruise Line ships. It was built by Charles Goldburn of the Nautical Craft team, and I just figured we could walk around it and explore it a little bit. I'm not as well versed in the history of the Disney Cruise Lines as like other parts of the parks, but I figured it'd be cool to explore as somebody who's never been on the ships before. Uh, and talk a little bit about the history that I do know, because I'm a big fan of reading into the history of Michael Eisner and his tenure at Disney, and that's of course when uh, Disney got into the cruise line business, so I figured it'd be cool to check out. So here's a little scale model of the Disney Magic, and we're done. Goodbye, everybody! No, of course, I'm just kidding. The actual model ship is in the, the background here. Let's check it out now. Like I mentioned at the top, this is actually Disney's first venture into cruise ships. Uh, it was announced in 1996 with a slated release date of spring of 1998. Of course, as with most large projects, things didn't go exactly to plan. Um, this was one of the things that Disney was first getting into, you know, for the first time. And whenever that happens, there's bound to be some uh, growing pains. You know, this happened earlier in, uh, you know, the Disney World time span when they were getting into hotels and and other just sort of businesses that they weren't used to especially you know you think of things like uh theater stuff like that so here we are in the i guess would you call this the the main lobby um beautifully done as i've uh learned from previous interviews with charles goldburn the creator a lot of this is handmade rather than using tools like world edit let's hop up this elevator here now this ship was super delayed. It ended up getting delayed twice and didn't open until July of 1998, which for a cruise season was kind of a big problem um, because, you know, the, you've got the summer vacation coming to an end. You've got um, hurricane season coming to a start. Um, it was a $350 million ship that ended up going over budget. Now, there was a lot of finger pointing when it came to putting the blame onto why the ship was delayed and over budget. Uh, Disney said it was the ship builders, Finn Kentiri, and the ship builders said it was Disney. You know, it's one of those things where there's never going to be one clear definitive answer. Of course, there's a lot of evidence to point that Disney was just very particular with the ship that they wanted to build and having that back and forth and that almost perfectionist attitude towards creating a ship means a lot of revisions and it means, you know, a lot of going over budget and a lot of continuous building. Uh, it was delayed so much so that the first 40 sailings of this ship were actually canceled. Uh, and some people who had their um, trip postponed once got a 25% discount. And then some people got their trip postponed twice, in which case they were offered a 50% discount. Now, if you think about this, the cruise ships and their uh, trips were actually more expensive than your typical uh, cruise vacation by about $1,600. So, of course, it was super helpful for those people who had the... Uh, the double discount there. Now, of course, such um, delays financially beneficial to some of these guests who are getting big discounts, but not so much for Disney. They still had to pay out full refunds for people who canceled. They had to still pay commission to travel agents who are booking these things. So it hurt their pocket. But like Euro Disney at the time, you know, it was a cost that that just sort of came with spreading, spreading out and and tackling new ground, so to speak. Of course, with such delays and setbacks, Disney is no stranger to uh, people coming up with names for it. And uh, the Disney Cruise Lines were no exception. In fact, the Disney Magic was sort of given the unofficial nickname of the Disney Tragic as a result of all of its delays. And its sister ship, which was going to launch a year later, the Disney Wonder, was uh, renamed to the Disney Blunder by people working on the, the construction of the ship. Now, of course, the ship was eventually built, as you can see here. It holds 2,700 passengers. It's got some really cool features, such as this th cool thing. It's a 24 by 14 foot LED screen called Funnel Vision. And of course, it's given that name because it's in the back of one of the funnels there. It sailed out of many ports, including Barcelona, New York City, uh, Port Canaveral, uh, going to all sorts of places. It's a pretty cool ship. Uh, they've done some really neat things with it that I think 
I personally like just because it's sort of Disney style. For instance, they actually went and got special permission to circumvent some international rules regarding the colors of the lifeboats. Typically, they had to be orange. Disney uh, was able to get them in a bright yellow. That way, they could have a matching color scheme. And of course, let me see if we can get a good view of the ship. Um, we're going to jump. Woo! This yellow, white, and black color scheme with some red highlights is, of course, Mickey Mouse colors. And so that's why they did it. And the idea that they'd go through that and they'd get all of these uh, rules changed so that they could just get a color scheme just so it looked a certain way was very typical of Michael Eisner's CEO style at the time. He was very involved with the design of certain attractions, certain hotels, and now certain cruise ships. And by being involved in that design, that's sort of what added to these longer construction times, but it is also what sort of added to the the memorable aspect of these ships. So there you have it. Just a really quick look at the Disney magic. You can go check it out yourself on Minecraft. If you have a PC or Mac version of Minecraft, all you have to do is connect to mcmagic.us, do slash join DCL, and then you can do slash warp magic and you can wander around and check out this really cool cruise ship. I've had uh, Charles on the channel before with like an interview when he had the Disney dream. Um, I would love to have him on again. In fact, I think that's something we've got in the works at the moment. Anyway, I highly encourage you all to go check it out. It is really amazing and there's so much more to it than what I could cover in simply one single video. I want to thank you all for watching. Whatever you're doing this week, make the most of it because it makes it that much better. And I hope to see you next time for the next episode of Minecraft Disney. Bye everybody.